water supply for Nelson came from wells and the local streams. But by the 1850s, the supply was getting really contaminated and there were problems with public health. There was also a growing population and the water supply was starting to run out. And this is a, really came to the fore when there was a large fire on the corner of Collingwood and Bridge Street in 1866. Nelson Volunteer Fire Brigade was formed after that fire, but they had no decent source of water. So the provincial government and the newly formed Board of Works started to think what they could do to solve this problem. And they thought of the brook. So they started by buying up land in this area and then they formed the Brook Water Reserve. And the dam here was the outcome of that whole procedure. It was built in 1868. It is one of the earliest dams in New Zealand. And in fact, the whole water scheme that we've got is even more significant. It's the earliest municipal water supply in New Zealand, the earliest one done by a public body. The dam is made of local stone, which has been carefully laid and roughly watered together. The upper chamber is the intake, and the lower is a filtering chamber, which is designed to filter out the sediment before the water enters the pipes. The dam behind me we always thought was the original 1868 dam, however we now know it's not. In July 2014, the Brook Sanctuary scrub clearers cleared away the vegetation from what was we always thought was the filtering chamber downstream from here. And when they cleared away the vegetation, we could see that there was a beautiful dam structure. We compared the structure that was there and in the stream with old historic photos and realised it was the original 1868 dam. And this concurred with the historic counts of the 1868 opening. We have no idea at the moment what the date of this dam is. It does appear in turn of the century historic photos, but there's no accounts in any of the archival material about when it was built. And in fact, right up until the early 1900s, there's still talk of only one old dam on the book. But if you look at the actual structure and the formation of it, we know it was certainly raised at some point, and it's got very similar features to the 1868 dam, including the same iron railings around the edge. Standing in the middle of the original 1868 reservoir, it's actually still intact underneath me. The water was piped down from the 1868 dam, came into here, which allowed the silt to settle, and then it was piped out to the city. The caretaker's hut was just down over there. So the reservoir has been used for a number of purposes. It was at one stage, it was a swimming pool for the camp, and also the um, caretaker used to keep pigs in here. This massive structure I'm standing on is the second oldest concrete gravity dam in New Zealand. It was built in 1904 when the city engineers again realised that the water pressure and the water supply wasn't enough for Nelson's growing population, especially when they were putting new suburbs up on the hills. So they built this. It's built of concrete, local rocks and crushed rocks from down the road. Um, gold miners and people came over from the west coast to help them. There's a few issues with the labour, at one stage they even went on strike. Um, and they also didn't seem to build it very well. By 1908 the dam had actually sprung several leaks. There was problems where it had been pinned into the sides, it hadn't actually been joined into the, uh, the rock foundations correctly and it had to be temporarily decommissioned while they carried out repairs. When they did that, the 1868 dam was brought into use again and they built the new 1909 dam further up the creek. With this dam, they had to re-mortar the whole thing and then finally in 1911 it was reopened. This bridge is 
is really interesting. It may look modern, but it's not. It is at least 100 years old. We have a beautiful picture of some woman round about the First World War sitting on it. And it may be much, much earlier than that. The concrete deck sits on old railway irons and corrugated iron. The railway irons actually might be from the Dun Mountain Railways. That was decommissioned and the railway irons sold off in 1872. The bridge doesn't look that significant, but it is. It's an integral part of the Brookwater scheme. All the individual parts make up a whole beautiful landscape which has got national significance of archaeological, engineering and historic value. This amazing dam was built in 1909 when Big Dam was discovered to be leaking and had to be closed. So it was built as a temporary measure. It's still essentially as it was then with a few minor changes such as these new railings and behind me it falls right down in this dramatic ravine and it's got the most beautiful stonework. It's still very strong and intact today. a machine-made metal pipe that brought the water down from the 1909 top dam and we can tell it's machine-made because it's so beautifully precise you can see the rivet holes are exactly the same distance apart what they did is they got a sheet of metal heated it up in a forge and then wrapped it round so it's coiled like a spring and then in this part of the same process the rivets were punched into the pipe then, in the 1950s, there was a big drought in Nelson. The water supply was getting low, things were getting desperate, and then the council discovered that the pipe under the reservoir had sprung a leak. So they hired Zachar Ryson, his mate, and Zach's dog, who fetched the tools, to come and lay this asbestos pipe, which we can still see really clearly today. Long since destroyed by floods, this arch bridge supported the pipe as it crossed over the water-filled ravine behind the 1909 dam. It was constructed from three-inch galvanised pipe and angle iron. But now, sadly, all that remains is the twisted metal protruding from the banks. After the 1909 dam was completed, it became apparent that regular maintenance was needed due to the flooding and filling with gravel. So they built this small dam to help relieve the supply while the 1909 was out of action. This once great monument to Nelson's survival now lays dormant. In 1965, the dam was lowered for fear of collapse and by 2000, the brook water supply was no longer needed. So the dam was lowered again and finally it was decommissioned, leaving behind a valley of concrete.